Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a very simple way, especially for lifecycle financial managers, to calculate square footages or space requirements using a SketchUp model. If you make any kind of shape um, in SketchUp, and especially if you get, a, say, a SketchUp model from the architect, you can just highlight any kind of square footage in the area, right-click, click Entity Info, and you'll get a square, an area right here. Uh, it can be in feet squared. If you change your units, it can be in meters squared. Um, and this will right away tell you the square footage of, say, if this was the floor space of a room. Uh, you can even do it for certain lines. If structural engineers or architects want to make uh, measurements of lines very quickly, you can get it through SketchUp. Uh, even if you want a uh, volume, what you would do is, let's say, we extrude this piece up so that it's a space. Uh, what you first need to do is make sure it's a group. So you want to triple click, actually. Right click and click Make Group. Now when I select this volume, it's all entirely one piece. Now when I click Entity Info, it will give me the volume. And the criteria for this is that there are it's completely solid, there's no uh, intersecting planes or lines, and there's nothing inside. It will give you this uh, volume here. 